Yo, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we look at what's remaining of the Season 6, and we start looking in the future, guys, Season 7 coming soon. Already, guys, two weeks remaining. Still, it's a whole two weeks. It's like half the season, but still, the beta is live in Garena for Season 7. We already start testing the new features, and today we look at a few of these features, possibly coming in the game in a few weeks. But remember guys, the Garena version is a Southeast Asia. Uh, global version could be different. Now first, the events might be different. And also the rewards from the events might be different. Also some features sometimes. Remember guys, a few seasons ago, they had a new zombies map that we didn't have. They have the Nikolai skin from the zombie rewards and we didn't have it on global. So what we're gonna see today guys may or may not happen in global but still interesting to see what's in the game so let's start with the remaining stuff coming to season six we still have two weeks guys and i don't know if you guys saw this image it is a roadmap of the season what we were expecting early may mid may and end of may and we still have stuff yet to be released for season six now everything that was announced in terms of weapons and new content pretty much we had the rust at the start of the season uh, rust map capture the flag was here it was pretty fun i'm gonna say uh, grinding the event but then uh, once i'm done with the rewards i stopped playing it capture the flag uh operator skill annihilator is here uh, pharaoh and outlaw i hope you guys got everything but what's left guys uh end of may in-game content battle royale class polter guys that's what we're missing right now guys and we should expect a battle royale event probably tomorrow guys usually it's on thursday night and if it's not this week it's gonna be next week but definitely expecting the polter guys class in battle royale and that one looks really interesting i don't know if you guys saw the preview but it's a new operator skill that will let you disappear for a few seconds, become invisible to your enemies. And it could be a game changer, guys, especially in 1v1s. Uh, we're going to see how it goes in teams, but definitely 1v1 should be interesting. Now, everything else was already released, guys. Kill Confirm, uh, Gold Rush, the Cryo Bomb, and even the Core Dite that's not on the roadmap. Saloon map with the 1v1s so that's pretty much it but still we have a few previews of some events coming next week let's check it out now, this one was leaked on twitter by murder blast once again shout out to murder blast always providing some new exciting stuff so it looks like event rewards coming soon and a brand new dlq bandit skin i really love the dlq it's my favorite sniper we'll be looking for that one guys event rewards possibly coming next week now next up would be the bloody vengeance lucky draw also possibly coming next week uh and what do we see here guys a legendary type 25 what legendary type 25 coming in the game guys so you see here the content yeah uh, first legendary skin for uh, type 25 i love the type 25 it sucks though because it just got nerfed like crazy to the point where people don't really use it anymore and then they release a legendary that really really is a bad timing in my opinion imagine if they released that a month ago it would be selling much more there's a dlq skin there and the hot chick of course the portrait frame the frame picture uh, there's an m16 there a emote backpack and all so uh yeah i don't know guys i mean the soldier skin is really really nice i saw that one on the trailer i think before the season i said wow this skin is the best but Type 25, I'm such a huge fan. Really sad that they nerfed it. Maybe it's gonna be back in the future. I might grab that one, guys, just because, yeah, Type 25 is a classic. I think they're going pretty crazy with the Lucky Draws. We already have three Lucky Draws going on right now. The Void, the Dust to Dust, and the Frontier Justice. Uh, four Lucky Draws in four weeks. That's once a week, plus the crates. They keep getting new crates every week. I don't think everything is worth that much also, especially the new crates. The Bengal stuff not worth a hundred bucks for a skin for real all right so let's check out the season 7 preview season 7 beta is here this is the new uh, lobby artwork look pretty fire it is actual fire remind me of some zombie themes zombie maps uh, the barbed wire the fire in the background uh, really hoping we get zombies in the near future guys I really miss zombies I told you guys so many times I love zombies 
And it's been a while now. Now, first major league coming for season seven, brand new change to Battle Royale. In the airdrops, you have a chance to drop a mini tank or something, drivable vehicle. Uh, really curious about that one, how strong it's gonna be and how it's gonna affect the meta in Battle Royale. Also, you can see a legendary scope attachment in the picture. So new stuff coming to Battle Royale, really excited for that one, guys. Now I change for multiplayer coming next season, probably on Global and Garena. Check the red perk guys, brand new perk called Overkill. It's gonna let you guys choose two primary weapons instead of a primary and a melee. And you can see on the picture, the guy's actually using a KN44 and an MSMC. Two primary weapons guys, instead of a rocket launcher. So. For some players, it's gonna be really, really good. Uh, some guys already like to switch their second weapon as soon as they have a chance. They replace their pistol or another primary. So it's gonna allow you to start straight up with two primaries. It's not broken in my opinion, it's just super cool. Now next change coming to the game, calling cards are here. It was a rumor already on Reddit, but now it seems like it's in the Season 7 beta. Calling cards. So you have uh, avatar selection, avatar frame, and now we'll have calling card feature. You unlock calling cards with events as rewards and crates, stuff like that. You have a bunch of calling cards after playing for a while. You can select one and whenever you call a UAV or a score streak, it's gonna put your name in there with your calling card saying you called an airstrike or whatever uh, is in the game. So it's pretty interesting, it's cool, collectibles again. It's a pretty cool feature. Collecting calling cards always been a thing in old Call of Duty games. This one again from Murder Blast on Twitter showing a bunch of different calling cards. So excited for that one. I don't know how you guys like it. I prefer collecting gun skins, but calling cards are always cool, especially when there's some rare ones that you unlock by achieving something, you know, like reaching a top achievement, unlocking a calling card. When you show your calling cards, People know you achieved something, so it could be interesting. I hope it's not just gonna be a, a pay to buy stuff. Um, it, it's not gonna be as exciting if you just buy them, right? Now, next one is a soldier, guys, showing in the in game uh, background. So it's in the game. I don't know if it's gonna be a future Lucky Draw soldier. I don't know if it's gonna be a season pass soldier or maybe. Uh, rank rewards. I would doubt it though because it's pretty sick and usually these crazy crazy soldiers they are in lucky draws but hey fingers crossed expecting some new soldiers anyways we always have two soldiers in season pass for a while now uh, we always have a new soldier grinding the battle whale so guys that would be crazy if it's one of the new soldiers that we're gonna get it's pretty sick now, one thing we're missing is still Nikolai for zombies. I'm still expecting zombies to come back sometime. I mean, we don't talk about it much, but zombies is my, one of my favorite game modes. And I would like to see it again. I don't know if it's going to be season 7. They didn't talk about it at all on the community updates on Reddit. So, I don't know. It's pretty dead right now. Zombies talk. Nobody's talking about it. So, maybe not everyone is a fan like me. But, hey, we'll see in the future, guys. It's gonna be it for now. Not that much, but still exciting stuff coming. Season six is not over. We're still expecting some grind event. We're still expecting the Poltergeist class. We're still expecting a new Lucky Draw. But season seven preview is gonna start popping up a little bit more now because the beta is live only on Garena, guys. So if you're on America or NA or whatever, you're gonna need a VPN to play, guys. So I'm just gonna skip the the beta as I always do. I focus on the current season. We still have one week of qualifiers starting tonight or tomorrow. Uh, week four qualifiers. And then June 12th for the next round. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.